Hey folks, this is Vincent Ali with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Arboretum. This is a card game for two to four players. It's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is about 30 minutes. A little longer if you need to plan out your moves and think about what you're doing. This is Ida Lee's first time playing, and I haven't played this very often, so uh, we may make a rules goof or two. But essentially what you're doing in this game, there are ten suits of trees. There's olives, there's willow trees, there's magnolias, and so on. Each of these suits, or each of these tree types, will score at the end of the game. Okay, and here's a score pad to show you that. So cassia, dogwood, li lilac, maple, oak, olive, so on, so on, so on. Okay? Only one player will be able to score a suit, unless there's a tie. In the case of a tie, then each of those tied players will score that tree. But at the end of the game, whoever has the majority on that particular tree will be able to score it in their personal tableau of cards. This is an example of what your personal tableau of cards might look like. The gameplay is relatively simple. Players get a hand of seven cards. On your turn, you draw two cards, either from the deck, face down, or from the available discard piles. Each player will have their own discard pile. At the beginning of the game, you're going to draw one for everyone except for the starting player. Okay? Um, so after you draw two cards on your turn, you play one to your tableau, and you discard the other one into your own discard pile. Very simple gameplay. But the scoring is a little weird. Okay? So, at the end of the game, like I was saying, each, each tree is going to score. And only one or possibly a, a tie of players will be able to score these trees. So, at the end of the game, we're going to call out a tree, say, Cassia or whatever. We're going to look at our hand of cards. We start with seven cards at the beginning of the game, we end the game with seven cards, and we look to see who has the majority of the Cassia tree. Whoever has the majority of the Cassia tree will earn the right to score it. It doesn't matter how many Cassia trees I have in my tableau. If I do not have the majority in my hand, then I cannot score it. So it's not only important to create pads, if you will, on your tableau, it's also important to make sure that you've got the majority in your hand by the end of the game so that you can at least score something. So, um, how does the scoring work then? Let's say that I did have the majority on willows, okay? Um, there's a willow here, a willow here, a willow here, and a willow here. Basically, the way it works is um, the first and last card of that willow tree type, it has, to, it has to start with a willow and end with a willow. It doesn't matter what the card types are in between. However, you do get bonus points if you manage to create a line of cards of willows that, you know, with no other tree involved. And I'll explain the point system in a minute. So in the case of the willows, you've got, and it's one point for each card. One, two, three, four. And they have to go in ascending order. One, two, four, seven. So one, two, three, four points. In addition to that, because there are all willows in that path, each card will score an additional one point. So it would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. In addition to that, if there's a one in your path, you score one extra bonus point. If there's an eight, you score an additional two bonus points. Okay, so again, lots of, lots of weird scoring. Let's score Magnolia, okay, which is this one here and this one here. And this, the path would be three, four, six. No other way you do it will get you to the beginning and the end of the Magnolia path. Again, the first and last card has to be Magnolia, okay, for you to score it. So, three, four, six. I can't go three, four, two, because that's going down instead of up. So, three, four, six. So, that would be one, two, three points, and that would be it. Three points for Magnolia. Now, that's assuming that I've got the majority in my hand in order to do that. Another example. Five, seven, eight, if you're scoring the olives. Five of olives, seven of willow, eight of olive, and that's that. So five, seven, eight. And that would be one, two. The eight is actually two points, because like I said, one, two, three. And then you get an additional two bonus points if you have an eight in that path. So one, two, three, four, five. That would be worth five points. 
Okay? As far as what the majority looks like, let's just take an example and I, I put these together um, I put these together prior. So this is let's this is an example hand of cards that you might have at the end of the game. I've got eight points of willow here, and my opponent has eight points of willow as well. Okay? Now because there's a tie, we would both get to score willow. Alright, so that's how the majority works on that. Um, let's take another example. Let's take... Um, uh, do, 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 do. Seven, six... There we go. One and eight. So this is the pink one, the magnolias. So I've got a one, and she's got an eight. Here's a weird scoring rule. If one player has a one in their hand, and the other player has an 8 in their hand, the 8 becomes a 0. This is still worth 1 point, this is now worth 0, so now the one, the player with the 1 will be able to score their magnolias in their personal tableau. It's another weird scoring rule. 1's nullify 8's if they're both in someone's hand. Does it matter if they have other magnolia cards? It, it, well, it doesn't matter. So let's say that, I don't have it here, mm -hmm. but let's say that, um, actually let's take one, okay, I don't, ha I don't have an example, but let's say you had a four magnolia, mm -hmm. okay, in, in here as well, you'd have four points in magnolia. Oh, uh, okay. This eight would still be a zero, but your four magnolia would still beat my one magnolia. And if you had a four, it would still nullify? Because Correct. If I had a one and a four, I would have five magnolia total. And my one four. would get nullify your eight, so it would be uh, five to zero. And then my magnolia would score in my grid. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So those are, just, those are some quick examples on how the scoring works. I know it sounds a little weird, and it's gonna it's gonna be weird for your first couple of games. Mm -hmm. In a two-player game, you take out um, four. Oh, I had a question. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. What's your What's your question? I wish you didn't do that. Oh, well, it's kind of late now. I know. What was your question? I was gonna say I was gonna ask if you have like two of those olive trees, right? Okay. And then you have that one in the corner. Can you Can you like take that one out and do a path with just those two? Yeah, you can, you can create a path any way you want to, so as long as the beginning and end cards are the same. Oh, okay, so you don't have to include... You don't have to include olives. Like, if you have olive to olive, but you have an olive somewhere down here, you don't have, you to, don't have to include it. Oh, okay, I see. If it doesn't meet the ascending order requirement. I see. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in a two-player game, we get rid of four suits. So we've got six different tree types in the deck. All right, so each player starts with a hand of seven cards. And one, two, three, yep, four, five, six, seven. Go fish. Go fish. <laughs> go tree. Now, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You can go first. Whoever planted a tree or whatever goes first, but I... Hmm. I don't, I, I kill everything I touch. You mowed the lawn. I mowed the lawn. That would be true. Okay, so here's my hand of cards here. Um, and as far as the discard pile goes, a, a card is played face up for each player except for the starting player. So this is your discard pile. This is going to be my discard pile. And at the beginning of my turn, I'm going to be drawing two cards. Uh, and it can be from basically here or here. I'm going to just draw two from the deck. One, two. And now I have to play one to my tableau and discard one to my discard pile. So um, I might play I might play this one into my tableau. And whenever you put the first card, obviously can go anywhere you want it to. After that, they have to be played orthogonally, up, down, left, or right, of any existing cards that you have. You couldn't play another one, say, down here. That's diet. No. You have to play it side here, 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 whatever. I see. Okay? And then I have to play one to my discard. So I'm just going to play dogwood here. Okay. All right? And, and, and that was your turn. So if I pick up and I want to pick up from the discard pile, you do can? I have to choose you can side? 
You can choose either or. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can take from here, draw from here, take from here, take from here. You could take from here twice, whatever. Oh. Just take two cards. Okay. Doesn't matter. Interesting. The top, it has to be the top card of the discard pile, though. You can't be choosing cards underneath. The, oh, okay. I see. Okay, I'll take this one. Okay. And can I draw one? Yeah. Okay. And then you play one to your tableau, and then you discard one to your discard pile. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that is a two... Royal Poinciana. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be butchering these. Ponciana, the royal tree. Okay, and you put an oak, a yes. two of oak. Okay, so now I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to draw the two, and I'm going to draw this from the deck, and I am going to play the two of... What the heck is that? <laughs> the Jack Carna, J J Caranda, Jackaranda, the Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the two of Jack, and now I've got a, now I've got to discard a card. The two of Jack. Um, see, now I've got to play defensively too because now I know one of the suits that she's going after here. So I'm gonna put that here so they can see it. There we go. And so I got to put down something else. Maybe I'll put down that lilac, seven of lilac. And now it is your turn. So as long as you end the, the turn with seven cards. Yep. You're going to take the seven of lilac and draw from the deck. <laughs> the three of royal. Yep. Okay. So I put one down and I discard one now? Yep, that's right. Oh, jeez. No, take your time. You're thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. All right, I'll discard. <laughs> like I, 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 I got to be careful not to put too many cards down of one color because I need the majority in my hand yeah. to score it. The seven of. <laughs> so you, okay, you picked up the card that you just. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna draw two from the deck. That's good. I don't know what I'm doing. No, that's okay. <laughs> it, 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 no, it's fine. Or um, do I? <laughs> or do I? Oh. Two of oak. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put down the two of maple. <laughs> okay. Pick one. This one, sorry. Mm -hmm. I keep pushing it. I know. Bad. I reposition the game. Sorry. You're fine. When does the game end? When all the cards run out? When the deck runs out. Sweet. Good question. Okay. Did you discard or play and discard? Oh. Or are you still thinking? Uh, no. I, I don't know. <laughs> Take your time. Two. Two of maple. So you took the card I put down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll discard... The Four of Lilac. Okay. I'm actually going to draw these two. And I'm going to play the Three of Lilac and discard. Um, mm. Mm -mm. Spread myself too thin now. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's do, no, I, I can't give you that. I can't give you that. I'm going to have to put down this four. <laughs> oh, now you make fun of me for putting down a card that you picked up. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's true. I, I thought I could get away with it, but no. I, I just realized what you had, and I didn't want to discard something that would help you out. For those curious as to what I have, there's that. I'll pick up the four. Okay, you're going to pick up the four. I'll pick up this two. Okay. 
All right, and now you get to play one. Yep. I'll play. This. Okay, three of maple. I don't want to discard anything. <laughs> I understand. I don't. This is terrible. Hmm. Sorry. Take your time. <laughs> wow. Right out of the gate, she doesn't like it. No, no, I like it. It's just, it's so hard. I just, I feel bad because it's so much waiting. Alright, um, now I'm calculating. Cause I That's what this game's all about. Yeah, because now I think I know what you have. Okay. I'll be curious to think, to know what you think <laughs> I have. That's right. I am. I'm so going to do that. I think you will. I don't want to discard anything. I don't want to discard anything either, but you know, kind of have to. Yeah, sorry. For <laughs> Lila. Okay. I will take. Yeah. Not wait. I'll pass on that. Oh. I'm going to take two from the deck. Okay. I need other things. Mm -hmm. um, okay. This actually works for me. Um, I'm going to play the five of Jack, purple tree, <laughs> and I'm going to discard the two of dogwood. Mm. I'm going to take this again. You're going to take the lilac, okay. And rando. Rando, uh-huh. <laughs> It's a good strategy you've got going there. <laughs> I know. It's so wonderful. Why don't you just write your name on the card? I'll put that down. What is that? The four of maple? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> I'm going to discard this. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Um, I'm going to draw two from the deck. One. Oh, okay, um, I'm going to play the two of lilac mm -hmm. here, and I'm going to discard crapola. <laughs> hmm. See, I'm playing defensively, and I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, I, yeah, like I don't know the strategy. I, I, I have cards that you could use, and I don't want to give them to you. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to block you out of majority scoring. You know what I mean? No, oh, yeah. So, um, but I also can't screw myself up either. Alright, um, I'm just going to put down the... I'm going to put down the seven of lilac. I didn't know you could discard on... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're right. You're right. Oh, really? No, that was right. That was my fault. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I thought... Okay. You have to discard on your side. Oh, really? Okay. See, I didn't know that. No, that was my bad. Like, I, I kind of assumed, but then I was going by what you would do, and, now, each player, and I was like, okay. Yeah, each player has their own discard pile. Okay. I, just, I forgot my own rule. I'm sorry. And you're fine. I messed it all I'm up. I'm tired. <laughs> I messed it all up. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit for the sake of those that are trying to follow along at home. I'm going to... There we go. I'm 
gonna. Yeah, well. You're gonna take the seven? I'll take the seven, sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I'll pick one up. Okay. Okay. And I will place this here. Okay. Five of maple. I will discard the dogwood. The eight of dogwood. It looks like no one wants the dogwood. <laughs> I'm going to draw two from here. And of course, I would get that. Um, I'm going to play... I'm going to play the four of oak and discard the five of dogwood. Mm -hmm. Everyone's favorite card. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to pick two? Yeah, two cards. Okay, one more. Something and I didn't do it, and I'm so silly for not doing it. You're fine. Take your time. You might be able to pull it off. Okay. I'll have to move this down. That's fine. Yeah, the camera can still see it. Okay. So I'll do that, and I will play. Oh my god, it's bothering me. What? Oh, please. There we go. Look at that. Look, see how much nicer that looks? I'll play that there. Can I discard one? Yeah, you play and discard. Yep. Yeah. So you've got the seven of royal there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will discard... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Know. The five of royal. I'm surprised. Okay. I'm going to draw two from the deck. Okay. And I'm going to play... Hmm. Uh, the seven of jack and discard the one of dogwood. I'm going to pick up a rando. Okay, you get two. And I'm going to pick up my... Oh, you're going to pick up your five. Okay. And... Question. Yeah. If they're, if they're the same number next to each other, can that still count? It has to go in ascending order. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to place down this one. The six oak. of oak. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And I will discard this dog. Dogwood. No one wants dogwood. Alright, I'm going to take two. And oh, nice. okay. Um, so I know that you know nothing, John Stone. I know nothing. 
I'm trying to figure out what you might have in your hand, mm -hmm. so I gotta think about where I'm, what I'm putting down. Um, All right, I'm going to put the eight of lilac here mm. and discard the seven dogwood. I'm going to pick up two. Mm -hmm. And... I will place the five here. Okay, five royal. Mm -hmm. And I will discard none. <laughs> <laughs> I will discard that one. Okay, it's a five lilac, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to pick up the five and the deck and I'm going to play an eight of jack down here. Nice. And I have to discard one. Um, hmm. let me get rid of all right. So, one, two, what numbers are still out? Four. So, you could still get majority. Um, you know what? I'm going to give you the four of royal. If you want it. Why? Because. You have a plan. I know it. I always have a plan. I know a plan. Shall I call your bluff? <laughs> it is up to you. <laughs> There are, well, I'm going to say about 10 or so cards left. I'm going to take the four. I'm going to call you. Okay. I will take this. And I will. Oh, I know what you have. What do I have? I know what you have. You messed me up, babe. How did I mess you up? You messed me. I know what you got. I know what you got. Okay. If you say so. I think you had. I think I think you calculated that move. Did I? I think you did. You think I did? Because I think you have both of these. The rest of them. I think you have the eight or the six of the royal. Or both. Yeah. <laughs> No! Yeah, I think you do. For those of you at home wondering what I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. I have nothing. Yeah. Okay, my turn? It is. Okay, and four, Did I? eight, nine. Okay, so I have nine cards, so I have to place one and discard one. Yes, you took two, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to discard. I will... Or play and discard. Yeah. I will... Hold on, now I have to think. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to play this one. That's the six of maple. Yeah. I'll discard. The four of royal. Okay. The six of maple. Good. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, two from here. One, two. And. Oh. 
I will play I'm going to play the Eight of Oak and discard the Four of Dogwood. Hmm. Go on. My turn? Yep. Alright. I'm going to pick up yep. two here. Hmm. One left. Yeah. So the game's almost over. Card. Oh, the one of maple. You're going to score big on maple. That is, that's going to be the, the hand to beat. Yeah. How does the scoring work again? I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> it uh, only counts with how many cards in the paths? Correct. Um, in ascending order, mm -hmm. it could match. The, if you have all the trees matching, they're worth an additional bonus point. Okay. Um, ones are worth an additional bonus point. Eights are worth an additional two bonus points. Mm. But you can only score it if you have the majority in your hand. Can I take this back then? Yeah, you can take it back. Well, now you know what I got. Well. And we only have one more round, right? This is well, last this, this is your last turn, yeah. All right, fine. Okay, the eight. okay, makes sense. Yeah. You have to hope that I don't have the majority of maple in my hand. Yeah. Do you put down the eight? You have the one. I already saw it. So yeah. that means that I can't possibly, you know. Well, if you have the eight still in your hand, then you, you know I couldn't trump that. So you're just basically, either you have all the rest of the maple cards in your hand, or you're hoping that it's not that last card. I'm going to get this one anyways. Okay. Um, so I pick this last card, and I'm going to take the Four of Dogwood, and I'm actually going to play... No, it doesn't matter. I can't just put the Dogwood down. Um, how could I get the most out of that scoring? And the dog is just continuing to moan <laughs> under the table. Uh, yeah, I can't... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, Stop. I'll, I'm just going to... <sighs> now i got to figure out... Okay, so the... Okay, so the three, four... Okay, so I have all of the... One, two, three, four... And I can say this out loud because you're not going... I can get rid of one of my purple cards now because so I'm, I'm going to discard the three because well it's, you can't take it anyway I know that you don't have majority of that um, and I'll I have to play a card still um, do you, is there a certain way to order to do it like you have to play play first, first and discard but with this being oh, the last okay. turn it really doesn't matter okay. um, I'm just, I have to play a card I'm going to play one that all right I'm just going to put the four of dogwood even though it's not going to score <laughs> Okay. All right, so that's the end of the game. And now we have to take the majority of everything. Um, trees, I'll put Ida Lee. And me. Okay. So starting with Cassie. I don't know if we kept those out of the game or not. I don't think anyone has Cassie. Cassie no. no, there's no Cassie's. Uh, Dogwood? No. No one cares about Dogwood. That's zero, zero. <laughs> the Jack trees, which... The purple. Have, yeah. I have the majority. I have a four and a six. That's ten in oh. my hand. So you don't have... Because that's every card. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So I, I want to, except for the three. Uh, I put the three down, that's right. That's why I discarded it, because I knew that you yeah. didn't have anything to fight my hand. Yeah. So ten for me. So I'm going to score this. It's one, two, three, four, five. Nice. And then an additional six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because they match, plus one extra point for the one and two extra points for the eight. Nice. So that's uh, 13, correct? So 13 for Jack, and so that's zero for you. Can you do a, like a, 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 an additional route as well? No, no. just the one route. Mm -hmm. um, so Lilac, um, what was your majority on that? That's the blue ones? I have 11. I have... Oh man, I have eight. I, I, that's why I didn't discard any of those. That's okay, good. so you had eight, I had 11. Yeah. So I still that's score my lilacs, but that's they're not all the same. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, with this being eight, I get two additional points. That's seven. Mm -hmm. So seven points there. Next is Magnolia, which is pink, which I, I remember that from the example, so we didn't score that. Maple is where you're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. I have no maple in my hand, so yeah. you had them all. I had one. I thought you had the the, the eight until I picked it up late game. And ah. I was like, dang it! <laughs> so. so you had uh, you had the two, three, four, five, six, eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six times two is twelve because they're all the same. Um, that's fourteen though because eight is. Two points more. Yep. So that's 14 points. So you have the highest scoring run of the So game. that's an additional 400 points? And that's an additional 400 <laughs> points. No. Uh, <laughs> oak is next. I had a seven of oak. You had, <laughs> you had nine. Okay, so my oak here does not score. Yours does not score either because you don't have an end card. Like you have, you oh, have an oak, oh. but you, the first and last card of the run has to be an oak. I see, I see. So. Do I score yours? No. Oh really? No, it's just no one earns anything. I, I do not earn the right to score because you had more. Yeah. But you didn't have any points on your board. So it's oh, zero. I, I thought I would be able to score on your team. No. You, oh, you blocked me from I scoring. I didn't know that. Well, no, this is why we play example So games. if you had more maple things, you wouldn't be able to score on no. mine? No. Oh. I, if, I, if but I would want to have more maple than you because I know you'd be scoring big for that. Oh, okay. So it's I'm going to try and block you from scoring maple I if see. I could, but I couldn't. Oh. I didn't see a maple the entire game, I don't think. No, well, maybe the beginning of the game there was a maple that I discarded that you took. Did you? Maybe. Olive? Um, I don't think there was any olives. Royal? That uh, was, yeah. You had, I had 14. I know you didn't have any tr way to trump that. Yeah. So. That's why I got rid of both of my royal cards. <laughs> I had no royal. I had, I kept the royals to stop you from scoring. Yeah. So that's just zero, zero. That's good. I knew you had the eight of this, mm. but then I, when you put down that four, I was like, you know what? And then I was trying to calculate it, and I was like, crap, he got me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I had the six, up. so I'm like, I didn't need... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, last is the willow, which I think was in the example deck. Mm -hmm. So... You blew me out of the water. No, actually, you, the, only, the, only ma the only color you scored was the was maple. The one. Yeah, mm -hmm. maple. So you had 14 points... And I had 20. That's really good. I scored on two trees. You scored on one tree. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was that was the game. What do you think of uh, Arboretum? They need more trees. They need more cards. They well, there are more trees and cards. In a two-player game, there's only six colors. The, the, in a two-player game, there needs to be like 30 colors. 30 colors. Yes. We'd be here for a while. <laughs> We'd need a bigger table. Yeah, it's fun. I love this game. Like I, I love the art. It is beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. The the qual the components are quality. Um, I like it. I mean, this is just. They even have the card. Uh, like here's a close up of one of the cards, like the maple. You've got the name of the the tree down here. Yeah. The art is fantastic. It's just it's beautiful. What's crazy though is that you can play this with any deck of cards, like this type of game with any. Yeah, as long as you had more than four suits. I yeah. mean, a standard deck of cards only has four suits and you need mm -hmm. at least six. You can have like more different card backs, I guess, right? No. No? What do you mean card backs? Like if, if you had other decks with different card backs, you could still use them. 
No, because then how would you... If they're played face up, how would you know if one was a spade or... Well, or, usually... Wouldn't they be different face up as well? Well, it depends on the deck that you buy. Like, you can't buy two of the royal whatever it is decks. Well, you could for sure play Crazy Eights with these cards. You could? I could. <laughs> Alright, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. You want to play Crazy Eights actually? No. <laughs> I'm crazy enough. Jack. I don't need any more craziness. You can play back. Uh huh. Did you like this game? Would I you, did. I really did. Would I, you play it again? It makes me want to run through trees. Yes, I would play it again. Run through trees. Yes. That would hurt. Well, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> I like so that. yeah, I think once you get past the learning curve of the scoring system, like that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Gameplay is simple. Scoring system is not. Once you get past the scoring system, and that may take you a few games, mm -hmm. then I think this is a game that you could bust out half an hour. And I like it because I'm constantly in my hand thinking, which cards am I going to keep for defense, because I know you're going to take them, or which cards am I going to keep for my own scoring at the end for majority, mm -hmm. and which cards do I want to play, you know? So it's, it's tough. I definitely would have strategized differently if I knew that I couldn't score in your table. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. So, but that was fun. Good. Well, there you go, folks. Arboretum, you heard it here first. If you guys want to see... Oh, not really. If you guys uh, want to buy this game for yourself, there's an Amazon link in the below description. Uh, buying it through that link, or anything else for that matter, will uh, I'll see a small cutback from that at no cost to you, so that helps to support my channel. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content we happen to publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.